There is power, there is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. To break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. To break, to break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. There is power, there is power in the name of Jesus. There is power, there is power in the name of Jesus. We love you, Master. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. To break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. To break, to break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. There's an army. There's an army rising up. There's an army. There's an army rising up. There's an army. There's an army rising up to break, to break every chain, break every chain, break every chain, to break. To break every chain. Somebody shout, break chain. Come on, sing with me. Shout, break. Come on. Break chain. Break chain. Break chain. Break. I hear the chains. And I hear the chains falling. Falling right now, I hear the chains. I hear the chains. I hear the chains. Here, Baba Shando Lobo Kusa, Rabba Nelebeshe. Come on, listen. You that sick in body, just lay your hands on the part of your body where you need God to touch you, where you need God to heal you. I curse the spirit of infirmity. I feel the healing anointing of the Holy Ghost flowing into people's bodies right now to make them well, to make them whole. I curse cancer in the name of Jesus. You demon of death, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Come out of their bodies. Loose them and let them go. You demon of blindness, come out in the name of Jesus. You deaf and dumb spirit, come out. You demon of paralysis, come out. I command paralyzed legs to work in the name of Jesus. Come out of their bodies. Come out of their bodies. Diabetes, high blood pressure, low blood pressure, heart disease, kidney malfunctions, I rebuke it. You that's on dialysis, I rebuke it. Be healed from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. In your spine, in your vertebrae. In your neck, in your brain, in your lungs, your liver, your colon, your stomach, your knee, your shoulders, your elbow, your hip socket area, your groin, your sides. And I curse a demon of stroke, the effects from the stroke. I rebuke it in the name of Jesus. I command feelings to. Be restored to your left side. I command feelings to be restored to your right side. I command your hands and your legs loose in the name of Jesus. 
command your body to be free to move and respond to the signals in your brain in the name of Jesus. Be healed. The Holy Ghost is touching many of you. Shh, the Holy Ghost is touching many of you. Check your bodies and for others of you, you wouldn't know until you go to doctor. But some of you are about to get a good report. Some of you are about to get a good report. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Father God, may Pastor Amy, we lift your wonderful people up before you. As we get ready to go into the Word of God, give them ears to hear and a heart to be receptive. We pray for wisdom. We pray for knowledge. We pray for understanding. In the name of Jesus Christ, somebody say Amen. On this morning, we are talking about God is able. And we believe you're going to be blessed. Your faith is going to increase from this broadcast. So just pay attention. Satan's weapon will not prosper. And we want to take you into the book of Daniel chapter 3 as we share with you a word from God. God is able. Glory to God. Can someone type those three words below this video right now? God is able. I just love it. You know the Bible says in the book of Ephesians chapter 3 verse 20, Now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we can ask or think according to the power that works within us. Glory to God. Ephesians chapter 3 brings us to the story with a king called Nebuchadnezzar. Now God had allowed his kingdom to flourish and prosper and this man dominated. But Nebuchadnezzar had become full of pride and full of himself. Just like human beings who are quick to forget that it wasn't you, it was God who brought you to where you are. You didn't do it by yourself. It wasn't because of your smarts and it wasn't because of your ability. It was because of the grace of God and the strength of the Lord that you are who you are and you wear you where you are right now. You didn't do it by yourself. It is the grace of God. So King Nebuchadnezzar, full of himself, he set up a golden image and he decided that when the music is played that everybody needs to bow and worship this golden image. And listen, he set some harsh punishment for those who refuse. He said anyone who refuse in the same hour, you're going to be thrown into a burning, fiery furnace. And I tell you what, that would have shook a whole lot of us up. I don't care how much faith you have, it'll shake you up for someone to say, if you don't bow, you're going into the fire. Come on, somebody, let's keep it real. That would shake anybody. But he ran across some unusual men by the name of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego decided, you know what? We serve a God who, who does not allow us to bow down and worship things made with man's hands? We ain't bowing. Now, these are my kind of guys. These fellas ain't going to take it. Come on, somebody. They ain't going to let nobody make them go against their relationship with their God. That's what I'm talking about. You got to be strong and stern and, and stern in your faith. The old people in the Bahamas say, if you don't stand for something, you'll fall for anything. I don't know about you, but as for me and my house, we're going to serve God. On Christ, the solid rock, I stand all of the ground. It's sinking sand. I don't care what kind of rules they pass to try to get us to compromise and go against my word, the word of God. I refuse to go against the word of God. For Christ I live and for Christ I die. Glory to God. I'm going with him all the way. I'm sold out. I'm crucified with Christ. Are you listening to me? So Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego decided we ain't bowing. We ain't going to do it. And word got back quickly to the king. 
the D's. Uh, I tell you what, my God, it's like communism. Sp- they spying on you, right? And that's how it is. Uh, if you're not going to do what they command you to do, that's against the word of God. All of a sudden, they got it out for you if you're a Christian, if you if you save, if you obey in Jesus. Come on, somebody. They got it out for you. You strange, you weird, you outdated. Come on, my, 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 my. The devil is a liar. We all are going to have to stand before the judgment seat of Christ one day, and we're going to have to give an account for the things that's done in our bodies, whether good or evil. What shall it profit a man if he gain the whole world and lose his soul? So Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they say, we ain't compromising. We're not bowing to your image. So the word got back to the king, and he sent for Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, and he began to threaten them. And this brings us into verse Daniel chapter 3, verse 15 through 30 of the New Living Translation of the Bible. And listen to his threat. I will give you one more chance to bow and worship the statue I have made when you hear the sound of the musical instruments. But if you refuse, you will be thrown immediately into the blazing fire. And then what God will be able to rescue you from my power? I dare someone right here lift your hands to heaven and say, God is able. Glory to God. Ah, my God. Listen to what Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego said. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego replied, O Nebuchadnezzar, we do not need to defend ourselves before you. If we are thrown into the blazing furnace, the God whom we serve is able. Glory to God. Can someone open your mouth and say it? God is able. God is able to save us. Keep it real soft. He will rescue us from your power, your majesty. Can someone open your mouth and say, God will rescue us. God will make a way. God will come through. God will deliver. There ain't no way I can lose. God is on my side. The apostle Paul said, absent from this body, I'll be present with the Lord. It's a win-win. My God, if I stay on this side, I win. And if I die, I still win because I'll be with Jesus. Glory to God. Listen to this. Verse 18. But even if he doesn't, (laughs) we want to make it clear to you, your majesty. We will never serve your gods or worship The gold statue that you have set up, we ain't doing it. I dare someone say, no compromise. I ain't lowering my standard. I'm not going to play this game that politicians or nobody else want us to play. You can't give in to this foolishness. We are Christians first and foremost. We are children of God. We belong to Jesus. We are in the world, but not of it. Are you listening to me? Nebuchadnezzar, Nebuchadnezzar was so furious with Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego that his face became distorted with rage. He commanded that the furnace be heated seven times harder than usual. The devil's turning the heat up on somebody. He's turning the heat up because he's trying to get you to compromise. He's turning the heat up because he's trying to get you to doubt God. He's turning the heat up because he wants you to lower your standard. I dare someone open your mouth and say, God is able. Glory to God. Let me sing that song, God is able. This is for somebody. God is able to do just what he said he would do. Glory to God. He's going to fulfill every promise to you. Don't give up, saints. Don't give up on God because he won't give up 
on you. He's able. Sing. Oh, 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 oh. He's able. He's able. Oh, oh, oh. God is able. God is able to do just what he said he would do. He's gonna fulfill every promise to you. Don't give up on God, cause he won't give up on you. He's able, oh, 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 he's able, he's able, oh, oh. Listen to this. Check this out. Stay right in that flow. He commanded the fire to be heated seven times hotter. Then he ordered some of the strongest men of his army to bind Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and throw them into the blazing furnace. So they tied them up and threw them into the furnace, fully dressed in their pants, their turbans, their robes, and other garments. And because the king in his anger had demanded such a hot fire in the furnace, the flames killed the soldiers as they, th as they threw the three men in, touched on my anointed, and do my prophets no harm. So Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego, securely tied, fell into the roaring flames. But suddenly, Nebuchadnezzar jumped up in amazement and exclaimed to his advisors, didn't we tie up three men and throw them into the fire? Yes, your majesty, we certainly did, they replied. Now I gotta read King James verse King James Version in verse twenty five. He answered and said, Lo, I see four men loosed walking in the midst of the fire, and they have no hurt, and the form of the fourth is like the Son of God. Jesus jumped into the fire with them fellas. Jesus showed up. Jesus is about to show up on your behalf. He's about to work it out. He's about to blow your mind. Then Nebuchadnezzar came as close as he could to the door of the flaming furnace and shouted, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, servants of the Most High God, come out! Come here! So Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego step out of the fire. My God! Then the high officers, officials, governors, and advisors crowded around them and saw that the fire had not touched them, nor the hair on their heads was singed, and their clothing was not scorched. They didn't even smell like smoke. Listen to this. Then Nebuchadnezzar said, Praise to the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. He sent his angel to rescue his servants who trusted in him. They defied the king's command and were willing to die rather than to serve or worship any god except their own god. Therefore, I make this decree, if any people, whenever their race or nation or language speak a word against the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they will be torn limb from limb, and their houses will be turned into heaps of rubble. There is no other God who can rescue like this. Then the king promoted Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego to even higher positions in the province of Babylon. God is able. Can someone lift your hands to heaven and open your mouth and say, God is able. Can someone type below this video, God is able.
me and Pastor Amy cover you in the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. God is able. He's not going to disappoint you. He's not going to let you down. He's going to bring you out more than a conqueror. And like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they said, and even if God don't deliver us, we still ain't going to bow. We thank you, God, for sending your strong word to encourage your people, to lift them up, to build their faith, and to bring clarity into their lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Someone say, Amen. To give in this offering, you can visit us online right now at seanpinder.net forward slash give. You can also give through the ministry PayPal account. That address is paypal.me forward slash Sean Pinder Ministries. You can also give through the ministry app. Many of you have the ministry app downloaded on your smart devices. You can also give through the ministry Zell account. The ministry Zell email address is info at seanpinder.net. You can also give through the ministry cash app account. That address is the dollar sign, Sean Pinder Ministries. You can also text to give. All you have to do is text the letters SPM to the number 45888 and a link will automatically be sent to you. You can also give by mailing your donations into the ministry. Just remember to make your checks and money orders out to Sean in the ministries, P.O. Box 2726, McKinney, Texas, 75070. Never forget me and my beautiful wife, Pastor Amy. We love all of you. We appreciate you. We will never, ever take you for granted. And remember, subscribe right now for more.